Today we're going to start our poetry lesson, and this will be um, some major terms that you're going to need to know as we start poetry. These are um, some poetic devices. So to start, um, the poetic devices we're going to cover are imagery, simile, metaphor, alliteration, assonance, consonance, personification, onomatopoeia, hyperbole, idioms, and rhyme. Imagery. Imagery is language that appeals to the senses. There are your five senses of sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. It's a description of people or objects stated in terms of our senses. Simile. I believe we all know what a simile is. It's a figure of speech which involves a direct comparison between two unlike things. Usually it is combined with the words like or as. So an example, the muscles on his brawny arms are strong as iron bands. A metaphor is very similar to a simile. It is a figure of speech which involves an implied comparison between two relatively unlike things using a form of to be. So it compares things without using like or as. An example would be the road was a ribbon wrapping through the desert. Alliteration. Alliteration is repeating consonant sounds that occur at the beginning of words or within the words. An example would be, she was wide-eyed and wondering while she waited for Walter to waken. Assonance is, a vowel, is the refrain of a vowel sound. Alliteration was a consonant sound. Assonance is a vowel sound that creates internal rhyming within the phrases. So there's two examples here. On a proud round cloud and in a white high night. Consonants. Consonants is characterized by the repetition of the same consonant two or more times in short succession. Examples are pitter patter or all mammals named Sam or Clammy. Personification. Personification is a figure of speech which gives the quality of a person to an animal, object, or an idea. An example would be the wind yells while blowing. Onomatopoeia. The use of words that mimic sounds. So the firecracker made a loud kaboom. Kaboom would be the onomatopoeia. Or words like slam, bang, buzz, that kind of thing. <coughs> hyperbole. Hyperbole is an exaggeration of a statement used to heighten effect. It is not used to mislead the reader but to emphasize a point. She said so on a on several million occasions. Several million occasions is a hyperbole. So if you're exaggerating something, you're being hyperbolic. And idioms. An idiom or an idiomatic expression refers to the construction of an expression in one language that cannot be matched or directly translated word for word in another language. So the examples would be she has a bee in her bonnet. She doesn't literally have a bee in her bonnet. It means she's obsessed with something. But if you translated that into another language, it would mean literally she has a bee in her bonnet. Those are the poetry terms that you're going to need to know um, as we move forward uh, with our assignments. So learn those terms. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to produce another video that's going to have more terms that are much more complex but those are poetic devices that you will need when reading and writing poetry